So we just finished the 19th installment of our doctoral colloquium, which we started this semester. Uh, the idea was to get together our doctoral students and our colleagues, researchers, to see and present. And it turned out to be a beautiful idea. We had very nice uh, discussions, very nice presentations. And so far, we are excited because all the presentations were nice. And you see uh, our doctoral students like Peter Anthony today, who is new, he's a first year student. He already gave very nice presentation and people at the department have a chance to uh, know what he is doing and discussion can start. So that's completely the idea of this and, and we hope this will continue. It gave me the privilege to uh, uh, develop myself, uh, especially in terms of learning how to prepare and present uh, my research ideas. I also had the privilege to learn and grow as I interact with other colleagues and mentors in the faculty. I also had the uh, privilege to, to I, I got feedbacks from uh, constructive criticism from my colleagues and from mentors, professors in the faculty, uh, which will help me to refine uh, my research idea for better. And overall, this is an opportunity to become a better uh, scholar and researcher in the future. We're trying to link the symbolic representation that we used uh, in uh, knowledge graphs where we represent malware and some sub-symbolic methods that allow us to uh, compute predictions more effectively, which is uh, one of the current trends in knowledge representation these days. So I'm, I hope uh, that this will be a very successful uh, project and that we will obtain uh, uh, interesting and relevant results. There are basically six reasons why we started this uh, colloquium for our uh, PhD students. First one is that we would like to know them, their research interest. Uh, this is the first reason. The second reason is that we know we want our students to know each other. Uh, the third uh, reason is that they will create a community. There is a social aspect, they feel together there are students here. Uh, next reason is that we want to give them some feedback. That means they present work and we have some suggestions, uh, ideas, what, how can they proceed and so on. Uh, next reason is that they learn how to present their work. That is important because uh, sooner or later they will present the work on conferences. And the last reason that uh, since each student will present his or her work every year, we can track some progress they made during their PhD study. I think they are interesting because I get to see what our students are working on and we can provide them with interesting feedback and it's also useful for them because they get to practice their skill of communication which I learned in my PhD studies that it's probably uh, one of the most important aspects that one needs to learn, so I think this is quite useful to us and uh, it makes our community work uh, more interesting because we can see different ideas even from the areas that we personally do not work on. My presentation topic was about uh, processing of 3D data with machine learning and it was, it was good to hear some feedback on the topic from, from experts in the field as well as share the knowledge with my fellow colleagues uh, and I really like these colloquias for sharing knowledge and sharing information among other doctoral students. The doctoral colloquium which you have seen uh, can be seen as a part of processes uh, that we are implementing within the new uh, winning EU project T-Race uh, that started uh, last year in October at our department uh, in collaboration with two partners and the, the goal of this uh, project is to implement changes towards improving the functioning of the department when it comes to involvement of people in research and education or teaching such that the overall performance of uh, the department uh, will be improved uh, in the long run.